What's good, everybody? N.W. Piper. We've got a beautiful day on the Oregon coast after that gnarly storm that we had yesterday. And uh, so it's perfect to make a review in the Briars Lodge. Smoke in my Bing's favorite six millimeter pipe. Uh, the the, the uh, filter is a balsa filter in here. And uh, this is an old Briar. This is one that uh, I would take golfing and, you know, fishing and just kind of throw it around. I've had this pipe forever. And uh, I've kind of, to be fair, I've hated this pipe. I don't want to mislead you and tell you, oh, this is a great smoking pipe. Um, typically, it has not been. And, um, but you know what? I haven't smoked in a long time. So I thought, hey, let's give it another try and see what happens. Um, got my DISM lighter. And so far, it's been working good. Um, pretty pleased with it. It's got good weight to it. Um, seems to light all the time. Holds fluid well. So we'll have to see how that goes. I think the problem with this pipe um, has been the bowl has been kind of uh, reamed out so much that typically um, it really uh, uh, gets wet down there. And I think it's a, I think it's a flaw from it just being... Uh, cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and reamed and reamed and reamed and uh, so now you know the bottom of this pipe will collect a lot of moisture and it'll typically <clears throat> gurgle a lot but we'll see I'm gonna take it easy and the reason why is because I got a Virginia in it today and today we're looking at Eric Stokeby's fourth generation 1855 so in my cellar, I've got quite a bit of these fourth generation blends. And I thought, hey, why not go through them and give you guys a review on what I think of them? This one's had an age on it for a while. This one's a few years old at least. Um, and it looks like rotted cedar, which I think is beautiful. I love the look of cedar. But if you've ever tore down an old fence that had a bunch of wet, dry rot, that's exactly what you see here. Um, you've got some beautiful coloring going on with these uh, Virginias. And uh, as you guys can see, try to find some flakes for you. You know, there's these flakes that go all throughout it, which rub out very well. But it does have that rotted cedar uh, characteristic to it in its presentation. Um, and I appreciate it. I think it looks wonderful. Uh, the jar note, um, being that this is a straight Virginia, it's it's pretty straightforward uh, with, um, you know, the way I would like to describe that jar note is sweet tea unsweetened. So, um, you know, sometimes that sounds like a total contradiction, doesn't it? But tea, a sweet tea, um, but that has no sweetener in it. That's, uh, that's kind of the, the smell that you're getting out of that jar note. It is sweet and it's got um, uh, a hay note that's present as most Virginias do. And uh, the smoke on it, let's light it up and check it out. Um, with this, with this one here, you, you guys, um, right away, you're going to get typical hay notes, which I like, but also too, um, there's no topping on this, but there is a sweet, uh, honey note going on that you're picking up throughout the smoke. And I like that. I enjoy that that sug that sugary um, honeyness that uh, a lot of times Virginia's put out there. And as you can imagine, 
um, with Virginia, there's going to be some citrus that lends to tartness um, that happens within this particular blend as well. Um, as far as tongue bite goes, you know, I suppose that if you just got on this thing pretty hardcore, it could have the tendency to bite you up. But we don't want to smoke our pipes that way, right? We want to take it easy and enjoy them and uh, look for clever nuances in the bowl if you got time. Sometimes <laughs> we're in such a hurry. You know, maybe it's your lunch break or a 15 minute break or, um, you know, you're in between projects or something and you've got five minutes. So you pack a bowl and, and start slamming it. For me, I think Burleys are best safe for that. Um, but Virginias and stuff, um, Englishes, it's always nice to be able to take your time and uh, enjoy. But I don't have a problem for myself at all. If I get busy to pack a pipe of Burley and just go for it, um, you know, quick five minute bowl or something. But I always enjoy taking my time with, um, with these blends here. So, uh, 1855, Eric Stokeby actually created this blend in honor, honor of his uh, great-grandfather who started um, blending um, and uh, Eric Stokeby started blending in Denmark, I believe it was, and Eric Stokeby um, created this blend in honor of his, uh, his great-grandfather. Um, nicotine on this is going to be medium um, to just slightly over medium maybe nothing that's going to be uh, a deterrent to you if you're heavy if you're very sensitive on nicotine I think you'd be okay with this when it comes to relights um, moisture content you know, sometimes that has to do with the way you pack your bowl. But if you did everything right and, you know, it's the moisture content to me is on point. Um, it's not overly wet and it's not dried out. You're going to have a average number of relights, but nothing that's uncommon. but a wonderful uh, notes of honey going on. And there's, I don't think there's any topping of it, but there's this sweet hay tartness going on. So look, if you're interested in, a, in just a straight Virginia, and like I said, I don't know what happened last week, but I've been on a Virginia kick lately. You want a straight... Virginia and uh, one that's not going to bite you and uh, treat you good. Eric Stokeby, 1855. I think you guys would love it. I rub mine out really good and then load it up and just take it easy. And I think uh, you'll be rewarded by it. So I hope you guys are having a happy uh, a holiday season. Christmas on Pontus now. Got a lot of stuff I still got to take care of. Um, and one of the things about that is, you know, if you haven't been taking care of your shopping, like in November, it's so hard to get stuff now. So I don't know. I think I might just have to give cash to everybody and they can, they can do with it as they wish. I know it sounds in person, like not very personable or thoughtful, but <clears throat> I don't know. We're living in a weird time now, you guys, and it's kind of hard to get stuff, and it's almost hard, and I don't know. So we do the best that we can, right? But looking forward to Christmas, the New Year's um, resolutions that 
I definitely won't be keeping. Um, just on a side note, and I'm going to end it here, but Vicky and I went to the gym for the first time in like a year, and we got a membership. And I went one day, and, I, and I'm just, I'm looking for my money back. I don't want to go to the gym. So instead, <laughs> what we did is we went on Amazon and we bought a rower for the house. So I don't know. I feel like I'm in this downward spir spiral of um, just being totally out of shape. So hopefully this, uh, this rower is going to help us out some. We'll see. Anyways, God bless you guys. Eric Stokeby, 1855. Let me know what you guys think of it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Blessings.